13 things you need to know before going to Germany. This is from Fila from Germany. So really excited to jump into this. Before we do get into this, I appreciate if you guys can hit that subscribe button. And yeah, let's jump into this and check out these 13 things. Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Felicia. I'm originally from Munich, Germany, but have been living in Cincinnati, Ohio, off and on since 2016. Ah, uh, nice. Now, traveling isn't really a thing right now, but I know that many of you can't wait until that's going to be possible again. And I know that many of you are planning your future trips. Right, it's a joke, heads. COVID. And for all of you who've always wanted to visit Germany, or even move to Germany, I'm sharing some things that you should definitely know before you go. All These are right, things that I see. usually tell friends who go to Germany for the first time, Hi. but I'm sure that many of you guys could benefit from this as well. Different currency and units. The first okay, one sounds right, pretty yeah. obvious, no right but believe me, people forget about this all the time. Really? Different countries have different outlets and voltages. So if you're <laughs> from the US, you'll need to bring or buy an adapter if you want to use your electric. Oh, okay. I thought it was mainly going to be about currency. This makes sense. This makes sense, right? Bring your adapters, that's important. A lot of people might forget that, actually. Devices, because your American plugs won't fit right. into a German yep. outlet. We also have a voltage of 220, 200. I, I, I bet you yeah, anybody, some people's tried, like, cramming it in and try. <laughs> Maybe chop it off one of the pins and shove it in. 30 volt in Germany, whereas it's only 120 in the US. And not all electronic devices okay. can handle the switch. So be sure that you oh, do really? some research about that before you go. Especially oh, wow. hair dryers and hair straighteners usually don't work with a different voltage. I actually broke okay. a hair straightener once because I tried using my German one in the US and that just made it stop working. With Yo, I never knew that would be a thing. I need to do some research, man, because I've like put in laptops and all sorts. Why is that? Is that just because like different power voltages and stuff like just blows it out? What does work usually though is laptops and phone chargers and those kind of things. Okay. And even though okay, I am obviously aware that the outlets are different, I totally forgot about it this past Christmas when I went home to be with my family because I got a new laptop recently in the US that came with an American charger. Right. And I totally forgot that for the first time ever, I would need an adapter that <laughs> goes from American plug to German plug and not the other way around. But luckily my dad has a bunch of travel adapters and one of them actually fits. You know what? This is exactly... I don't have many travel adapters. I've got some Euro European ones, like Spanish ones and stuff. But this is why I have a box full of just, like, wires and plugs and all sorts, right? Because you never know when you might need something. And, of course, we also use a different currency in Germany. It's the euro, just like in right. the other countries in the European Union. And at least compared to the US, we also use a different measurement system. Why is it that when... Even when UK was in the Euro like European Union, right? I know we've left it, but why is it even then we didn't, we wasn't euros, we was Great British pounds. That's interesting. The metric system with kilometers instead of miles, etc. Even though the US really is the odd one out here. Wait, no, people in the UK, I use miles. I always find this weird. Like the UK is a good mix. I use miles, kilograms, etc. And yeah, weird, very weird. The next point causes a pretty big shock for many people who visit Germany for the first time. Stores are closed on Sundays, even okay. grocery stores. Right. So make sure to plan ahead because the only places you'll be able to find any groceries well, on Sunday are stores at train stations and gas stations. This has a Wait, wait, wait. Completely shut. Like not even close early. In the UK, they close around like midday. They're open in the morning. But then it closed midday really early. The Christian background, but it also has to do with workers' rights. In Germany, we believe okay. that everyone should be able to get a rest day on Sunday and spend time with their family. Right. Restaurants, movie theaters, and those kind of things are usually open, though. Interesting. Cash culture. Even if you're only in Germany for a day, you should make sure to carry cash on you. Right. Germany has a pretty big cash culture, and there might be quite a few occasions where you won't be able to pay electronically. Like oh, when wow. you might get something at a bakery, a kiosk, small stores that don't accept card payments. Yo, this is handy to me because I never carry cash. Ever. Ever, bro. 
So, yeah, I always use my phone and stuff. But why don't they have, like, wireless contacts and stuff, right? Why? Or things like parking machines. You can either get some They're cash from the ATM in Germany, but be aware that there will probably be an ATM fee and a currency conversion fee if huh? your bank account isn't in euros. Or you can also ask your bank at home to get some euros to you before you leave. That might be the best option, yeah, actually, that's because what that I'll way do. you'll also have some cash right when you arrive in case you need it. What you right. shouldn't do, though, is exchange money at the airport because it'll be a lot more expensive. Driving. Oh, now Germany has the autobahn. Don't know if I pronounce it right, but like you could go whatever speed. There's no limit, right? Yo, that's crazy. I should watch a video on that. Let's talk about what you need to know about driving in Germany, because there are a few differences that you should be aware of before you get behind the wheel. Right. The first thing is that gas is a lot more expensive in Germany than it is in the US. It's about three times as expensive. So if you were going to rent a car and just three drive times. around Germany or Europe, that's not going to be as cheap as you probably expected. Wow. In fact, it might be a lot cheaper to get around by bus or train. We have a pretty Three good train times. system all over Germany and over Europe too. And especially if you're just staying within one city in Germany, public transportation might be a more convenient oh, and less stressful option for you too. Because traffic can be a little crazy, the drivers can be aggressive, and parking in a German city is usually a nightmare. When you need oh, to get gas, like you should hell. know that you pump first in Germany and then pay afterwards. Right, same and you UK. don't usually pay at the pump, but you'll have to go inside afterwards right. to do so. The regular Wait, why is it like in America then? Because she's comparing it uh, a lot to America. You know what? America's all about being convenient. So they could probably pay at the pump, you know what I mean? And then just like... Put... To be fair, you know some place in the UK, you can put your card in first and then fill up your car and then just go. Regular gas in Germany is called Zupa, but of course you can always look at what it says inside of the gas cap as right. to what kind you should put in the tank. Then of course there are different driving laws in Germany, so be sure to check those out before you get on the streets. Two major things are that you can't turn right on red and you always need to watch out for cyclists and pedestrians, especially when turning right. I okay. found that that's not really something that people learn in driving. Yeah, that's mad in America, you could turn right on red. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do not in any European country, bro. Turn right on red. Don't do that. First ed in the States, because in many American towns, people walking or riding their bike isn't really a thing. For everything right. else, like the okay. street signs, what? speed limits, and driving on the highway, the Autobahn, you can check out my video on driving if you want to learn more. You're telling me in America there's no one walking or cycling? What? Drinking in public? Wait, can, can you? Surely you're this one might be kind of shocking to Americans. In Germany, it's legal to drink alcohol in public. And right. Germans do that a lot so. too, especially in the summer. So don't be surprised by that. And who knows, maybe you're going to try too and get a cool experience out of it. If you can just sit by the river on a warm summer night with That's 50 nice. cent beer from the corner store. And yes, beer is pretty cheap in Germany, what? but it's still very, very good. 50 cents? No. <laughs> Wait, why is it so cheap? I was going to say... I'd be very surprised if you couldn't drink in public in Germany because I've seen so many like, like videos and pictures of people going to like beer gardens and taking drinks away. I would have been surprised. But is that cheap for beer in Germany? That's crazy. Now, if you visit Germany as a tourist, you're probably going to spend a lot of time at restaurants. Right, so of course. So here's a few things that you should know about that. So when you walk into a restaurant, you can usually just seat yourself and don't have to wait for someone to show you to a table. Okay, Then handy. you won't get ice in your drinks unless you ask for it. But even then, it'll probably just be a couple of ice cubes. The sizes of drinks are... You know what? It surprised me that so many people in Europe don't like ice cubes in their drinks. I can't drink drinks that are like warm I, they have to be freezing cold also pretty small i don't want to say cold <laughs> cold freezing cold in comparison to the states just like almost everything in germany and water is not free at german restaurants huh? so if you order water you'll usually get bottled water either still or sparkling which wait, germans wait, are wait. huge fans of One wait, wait, wait you can't get free water in germany uh, what? Once you're done, you have to ask the waiter for the check. They won't bring it to you automatically, and you're probably going to have to flag them down because they're not going to check on you all the time. If it's that UK, and a couple then times. they'll usually have you pay right at the table. Right. Either with cash, or you can also pay with your card in most restaurants, but you'll have to let them know. It might be a minimum 
payment requirement to pay with card okay because they'll have to get the little device first now when it comes to tipping we tip around 10 percent in germany oh and you tip the way germany. it works is that you just tell the waiter directly what you want to round it up to so oh, if wow. your check is 20 euros and you want to tip them two euros you just tell them to make it 22 and you'll get the change for that it works the i actually didn't realize there was like a tipping culture in germany same way with card payments too so make sure to tell them the tip before you insert your card right also just a heads up the way Waiters in Germany might seem kind of cold compared to the ones in the US. You'll have to flag them down if you need something. Right. And they're probably not going to be as friendly, which has to do with the fact that they don't have to rely on tips as much, but also with the German customer service in general. Yo, who's giving them tips if they're not friendly, man? I did, but that's like UK. Don't like, li listen, I know she's comparing it a lot to America because she's living in America, right? But like in America, I've heard loads that like everyone's friendly and stuff like that, bro. In the UK, the waiters and waitresses, they're grumpy, miserable, you know what I'm saying? So I think Germany's a little bit like the UK with that one. Customer service, it's not going to be great. Please scare you off, but the customer like service in Germany is pretty bad compared yep. to the US, at least right. in my opinion. I know that many Germans are going to disagree with me in the comments, but if you're used to American standards, it's very likely that some of the people working in German customer service will make you feel like you're bothering them or right. annoying them. That's like if the that UK. happens, please <laughs> don't think that it has anything to do with you being a tourist or not speaking German. It's nothing personal. They treat me like that too. Of course, there's also many great people working in customer service who are lovely to talk to, right. but yeah, of unfortunately, course. that's not the standard in Germany. Wait, am I seeing this correct? Paying to pee? Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. One of the most popular nah. topics of complaints among tourists is that you have to pay to use the bathroom. In what? Germany. Now, it's possible that that's going to be... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I hearing this right? You have to pay to pee? is that you have to pay to use the bathroom in Germany. Now, it's what? possible that that's going to be the case. Like, at rest stops on the highway, you'll find these bathrooms with turnstiles. My. And at some public bathrooms, there will be a person sitting with a tipping plate. You know what? I tell you what, right? They tried doing that in a holiday location in the UK many, many years ago. I'm telling you what. That's not the case no more, bro. There's only been one time ever in the UK... Well, I've seen something like this where you have to pay to go to the toilet, right? And it was um, it was like a, on, on the coast. So like it was like a holiday uh, location where everyone would go. And it's not there no more. It's not there no more. People would just jump the fence. People would just... I'm telling you right now, you try doing that in the UK, they are not paying to pee, bro. They're not doing it. They're going to the toilet regardless. <laughs> yeah. Paying to pee is crazy, man. But that's not always the case. That's crazy. And in restaurants, it's usually free. Right, but yes, okay. sometimes you'll have to pay for using a public bathroom, so it's always best to carry some change on you, what? just in case. Ooh, German rules, okay. Germans like rules, and they like to follow the rules, okay. and that includes stopping at a red pedestrian light. Right, so, yeah, sure. So, no jaywalking in Germany. Oh, and by okay. that, I mean that you won't see a lot of Germans jaywalk, and many of them don't like it when others do it either. Which, by the way, applies to other rules, too. You That's important for me to know, because in the UK, you could just jaywalk wherever you are, right? And I have done in, like, I wonder if you can in Spain, because I've done it in Spain as well. But that's interesting enough. Because obviously going to Germany, like, um, if they're strict on that, then yeah. You may even get reminded by strangers to follow the rules. Besides oh, really? the whole no jaywalking thing, some of these rules are to stay right on escalators to let people pass on the left. Okay. And, very, very important, don't walk or stand in bike lanes. Next to the sidewalk, right. well, there's usually a bike lane, and there are many, many cyclists in German cities. And if you block the bike lane, you may either cause an accident or you'll probably have a person on their bike ring their bell at you. Oh, ring you over with the bike. <laughs> or even yell at you. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's dubbing? In case you happen to turn There's on the titles. TV or want to go see a movie in oh, Germany, talking ever. don't be surprised if your favorite American actor suddenly speaks German because almost everything is dubbed in Germany. We oh, really? We do consume a lot of American movies and shows in Germany, but Germans aren't big fans of subtitles. And okay. even though more and more people do consume English media in their original version nowadays, the norm in Germany is the dubbed version. Oh, wow. That's interesting because I... Even though in the UK, I've watched other language shows. Um, to be fair, they do have dub versions. 
But I like to watch it in their language. I don't know if you guys are the same. But like, for example, you know, uh, uh, Squid Games or Money Heist. I prefer to watch it in their language than the English dubbed. Just because I, I feel like it's just got a better feel to it. And I'll just read the subtitles. And I have a bad I have bad vision as well. And I still read subtitles. Some movie theaters do show movies in the original versions too, though. You'll just have to look out for the little edition behind the title that says oh, wow. OV. Interesting. Many of you have probably heard the cliche that Germans are pretty reserved and rather cold. Yeah. And there's actually a lot of truth to that. So before you go to Germany, you should definitely know that Germans don't usually talk to strangers a lot. Like the UK. And we aren't big on small talk. So right, don't expect to have some nice conversations. When I say same, I don't mean me. I mean like the, the general people in the UK. That, that's what I'm basing it on. With people at the store or something. It depends on who you interact with, of course. But at first sight, Germans can come off as unfriendly, especially right. when compared to Americans. It's yeah, that's exactly the same with the UK, bro. Like, people won't talk to you in public. They just won't. They'll, they'll stay, like, stick to themselves, be in their own lane. If someone, if I went to the shop now and someone spoke to me in public, I'm going to think they need someone. I, I'm going to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Is, you either robbing me? Or like you drop something and it's behind me or like you need something i don't know it's nothing personal <laughs> though it's just a cultural difference but yep. if you ever have a concrete question don't hesitate to approach a german and ask them because germans are usually very glad to help oh okay cool Oh yeah, what is now, it like how should English? I ask someone for advice if I don't speak German? Well, most Germans do know some English. They may have a thick accent right. and may not be able to have a full conversation, but they'll definitely be able to, you know, give you directions or tell you the price of something. That's cool. Many Germans also speak pretty good English, so those of you who come to Germany and do speak some German and want to use it, don't be thrown off if you speak to someone in German and they reply in English. It's you know what? I actually wish I could pick up languages easier because in school, German was like one of my favorite languages to learn. I just like the way it sounds like, das ist gut, das ist wunderbar. You know what I mean? But like, uh, I'm, I just suck with picking, like learning languages. I don't know why. Like, no, I, as much as I try and learn, it goes in one ear and I, I, I've, got, I've got a really bad memory. I struggle with English. Never mind. <laughs> it's a thing that many Germans do, help. and I know that it can come off as rude in a way. So what is it? They usually just want to make life easier for the two of you because right. they know that German is a difficult language. And if they think that their English is better than your German, they may think that they can make the conversation more efficient by switching to English. Right, so yeah. please don't be offended by that. If you really, really want to practice your German, I'm sure you can just ask them to stick with German. <laughs> Oh yeah, how's the differences? The what last is it like? point on my list is mainly targeted at people who want to move to Germany. Right. Now, when you move into a new place, be prepared that it might come entirely empty. And by that I mean that there won't even be blinds, curtains, oh, yeah. or light bulbs in it. And oftentimes it's not like even the kitchen. So the space where the kitchen... Wait, 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 what do you mean not even the kitchen? Curtains or light bulbs in it. And often... Wait, and no light bulbs? <laughs> wait, hold on. Alright, so... I thought she was just meaning no furniture. Bro, they're ransacking everything. Are they walls? Is it paint? <laughs> <laughs> so in the UK, when you move into a new house, there's no like curtains, blinds. You have the light bulbs there, but like everything will be taken out. So like it would just be like a fresh plate. You know what I mean? No furniture whatsoever. When you move into a new place, be prepared that it might come entirely empty. And by Mad. that, I mean that there won't even be blinds, okay. curtains or light bulbs in it. Black and bulbs. oftentimes not even a kitchen. So this. What? What do you mean not a kitchen? What did it just take the whole room out? There's no kitchen space where the kitchen is supposed to be will just have a bunch of cables and pipes stick out of the wall and you'll be responsible for getting all of the appliances and cabinets also they take the cabinets they take they... <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah that's mad i've never seen anything like that bro that's crazy. Wow. Responsible for getting all of the appliances and cabinets. In the UK, if you like buy a home or rent a home, the kitchen comes with a home. You know what I mean? Like you need the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? The 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 cabinets, the built-in utility, like the oven. If it's built in, 
They're not going to take it out. They're going to leave it there, right? Germany, they're ripping that out. That's mine. <laughs> also, leases are usually unlimited in Germany Wait. before getting all of the appliances. Even when you ran? What? Appliances and cabinets. Also, leases are usually unlimited in Germany, unless it's like a sublease or something. But in the US, I found that a lease usually has an wow. end date, one year in a lot of cases, and then you can either renew it or end it. You won't have to do that in Germany. Also, when looking for a place, you wow. should be aware that a bedroom can be really small in Germany. So you should always look at the size of the room or the apartment and not just the number of bedrooms, because a yep. three bedroom apartment in Germany could be smaller than a one bedroom in the States. Right. Also, bedrooms don't have closets in Germany, so you'll need a wardrobe or a dresser to put your clothes in. Mate, they would take the clothes anyway somehow. <laughs> and there are many, many more differences regarding German and American houses. So if you're interested wow. in that, you can just click here and check out my video about differences at home. Yo, that kitchen situation actually blew my mind. That blew my so mind those off. were 13 things that I really think are important. Yo, that was crazy, bro. You guys got to let me know what other points there is that I'll need to know before going to Germany. But yeah, great video. Enjoyed that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.